The NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament field will be announced tomorrow, and it's expected to be an historic day for the state of South Dakota and the Summit League with both the Jackrabbits and Coyotes expecting to hear their names called. Now, SDSU knows that they're in by virtue of winning the automatic bid in their 83-71 Summit League Tournament Championship win over USD. Thanks to their strong resume and strength of schedule, the Jacks could be in line for the highest seed and most favorable draw in program history. And thanks to an equally strong resume and strength of schedule, the Coyotes are expected to become the first team ever from the Summit League to get an at-large bid into the NCAA tournament. Most national analysts have USD firmly in the field, and if there's one thing the two rivals can find a rare agreement on, it's that the Summit deserves to have two teams in the big dance. Yeah, of course. USC is a very special team, and um, you know that's been in the talk, and I think it would be great for South Dakota to have both of us. I do believe that our kids, and then the consistency of, of play throughout that, you know, to to honestly to be play the, the schedule that we had and be where we're at, I do, do believe that our kids deserve an opportunity to continue playing. I would think and hope that this is, you know, a springboard for you know, a consistency of this. I don't know how many times we've had these conversations where I think I've always been an optimist saying, yeah, I think we can get two teams. And I think a lot of people said, oh, you're never getting two teams. And here we are. Um, now I'll be an optimist and say, why can't we push for that every year? And both the Coyotes and Jacks are inviting fans to join them for selection show watch parties tomorrow. USD, who's obviously very confident that they're going to be in, will be on the second floor of the old lumber company in Vermilion at 5.45, while SDSU will be at Cubbies at 5.30. The selection show begins at 6 p.m. on ESPN2, and we'll have full coverage tomorrow on KDLT News at 6 and 10.